If you get the shot, you basically can ditch the mask nearly everywhere, the CDC says. And many Americans telling us tonight they're ready. So finally, the news is here. You no longer have to wear a mask as long as you're vaccinated. Finally, people have been telling that the light at the end of the tunnel is finally here. We are finally out. The normalcy is returning and you no longer need to hoard anything, toilet paper or anything. I mean, that's probably yesterday's news. Um, No more six feet, I guess. And um, it feels really, really good. So this is my vaccination story. I don't like to get preachy about vaccination because I like to believe that people get to do their own thing um and me personally sharing it isn't going to help but as far as i learned this whole year um vaccination is super important um so if i can share my story and alleviate a person's fear because you know they're scared of what's uh happening to them or in other words getting chipped uh i'm here to say you're not and i'm just sharing my experience so i got my first vaccine back in march uh the 31st of march that's was my first shot and when you do go to the center uh you actually find that you don't have much of a choice people do say hey i want a pfizer vaccine i want a moderna vaccine or a jnj when it wasn't uh of course um paused of course and uh I got the Moderna one. Um, so the Moderna one, between the first shot and the second shot, there's a gap of 28 days. Uh, when you actually first go there, it's a drive-in vaccination site the where yeah, I went there. there. There are also people who actually go into the walk-in ones, but all of them are a very unique experience. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good, already. Oh Do not. I don't want to Oh, I lost so many. So we're going to be decorated, I tell you. Okay. Do you have enough space? Do you have enough space? Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Thank you. Alrighty. You keep your arm nice and relaxed for me. That is perfect. It's done? it's done oh wow thank you so much <laughs> You're welcome so pull forward look for the patient monitor in the red vest they're going to have you pull over to the side and park you'll wait for 15 minutes for observation okay okay all right you take care now. thank you so much have a great day and with that i was done with the shot it did hurt like it was just a prick in the needle my first shot did feel just like that And a few hours later, about six hours, eight hours into the day, um, your arms do get sore, but they just last about a day uh, maximum or even two days. Uh, But yeah, they did give up, give me a lot of pointers to like drink a lot of fluids and everything. I did not, however, feel any sort of feverish symptoms or headache that they, you know, give me through the pamphlet i did read it all uh but in case you do feel those symptoms feel free to pop in a pill like tylenol or advil just to make sure that you don't feel any sort of lethargy um or fatigue uh during the day i actually wanted to i was also recommended not to take a lot of people you know started spreading rumors that if you take their actually the vaccines wouldn't be effective there none of the stories are true as long as you feel great that's um that's what's up and actually they make sure that you don't go out immediately so you they do check for your conditions for about 15 minutes yes there's a lot of emergency vehicles ambulances uh nurses all making sure that you feel the best before you actually head onto the road or wherever so yeah i actually the whole experience like at least my first shot it took maximum half hour uh an hour uh for me this particular vaccination site was very far from my place but now it's more easier to find appointments and actually uh, get the particular time that you prefer there's uh, pharmacies like cvs walgreens even walmart right aid Uh, they all have plenty of shot uh, plenty of uh, appointment slots as well as plenty of shots as well Um, this was prior to the j&j pause right now if you want to get one and done i think j&j is your best option and you do have a 
lot of preferences to get which you which one you want unlike what i did i didn't have any choice whether to choose more than uh, pfizer or jnj so uh, you you guys are better off than me if you haven't taken the vaccine yet so yeah i think there's plenty of choices so do do your research i guess i mean you don't need to all of the vaccines are great um so yeah this was my first uh experience with the vaccine uh i didn't feel too um like what do you call it? i didn't have any of the symptoms um as specified like no no fever no nothing um the other thing uh, that is um great is that once you go into the first shot they do schedule your appointment automatically for the second shot unless you don't like the center or you don't like the place that you got the shot you could uh reschedule it for another place i guess uh probably a pharmacy or anywhere uh the other thing that is um uh, also great is that I got it through my physician, but there are a lot of pop-up shops within within the city, within the county, where you don't need insurance, you don't need any insurance card. So in case you don't have any of those options, you still can get the vaccine. Uh, they would not ask for any papers or anything. There's no sort of um, any sort of um, immigration-related questions that they asked me. It was completely just my name. I did have to give my ID for like address proof and uh, my name just to verify the name and my date of birth but that's about it. So yeah. So here we are getting the short too. So yeah, I was super excited to take my second shot. Um finally the wait was over and I got my second shot in 28th of April. It was actually 28 days after I got my first shot. And I was really scared as well as nervous, both on the same side. One, because I've read a lot of things that the second shot is somehow worse, which is not a very unique experience because everyone going through it do feel um, some sort of lethargy, fatigue, uh, going in the first day. Everything is like 10x, especially for me. I felt like the sore arm was 10x. Um, I did have like really, really bad ugly headaches as well as a mild fever on the first day actually the first night when you take the shot uh the first night is kind of hard uh especially because you can't really sleep in better um because of the sore arms the temperature is heating up so yeah but you know uh what what makes it better is that if you can you can probably take a sick day um, and you know to just recharge yourself uh, but all in all whatever I've heard um, at least the rumors have concern or people just speaking from the experience all have been true with regards to shot too uh, that sort of rhymed that's really great um, so yeah I mean if you have um, you know if you're really scared about this um, you could probably take the J&J shot from that you probably don't have the same symptoms that i felt because it's just more or less the sore arm but because of the efficacy and all that that is going on if you do want to choose uh team moderna or team pfizer then um you know these are some of the experiences that you do have there for the second shot obviously you have to take your vaccination card which is very important i did take mine too so if you don't have your appointment or the vaccination card they don't really let you in and somehow i felt that the second time around the crowd was less uh for some reason i think a lot of people took the first shot and left oh it or they took uh, maybe that particular day the appointment was um you know or, or, or less busy and people came in later or during the weekend what i did find out was during the weekends especially it is more crowded um so if you can do it uh during the weekday i would highly highly recommend it uh but right now begin because it's may i know a lot of places um you know b because of the um, you know bandwidth and everything and more centers opening up uh the crowd is uh, very very manageable you don't really see much of a crowd and it's like you're one and done and it just takes like about 15 minutes plus 15 minutes for the shot and you're done so in and out out of half an hour so yeah that's the whole experience i guess so do um you know do, do time yourself what you need to do exactly and that's about it Okay, sorry. Hi, I'm good. Can I give you a second dose of Moderna? Can you open the book? Yeah. How are you doing? 
I'm good. Perfect shirt for today. You know, some people wear like these very <laughs> interesting things. I'm like, well, you know, you're coming to get a vaccine, right? <laughs> this is good. Thank you. I want to make it easy for you guys. Thank you. And then she'll come in their sweatshirts and bundles and a blanket. <laughs> oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm like, I like someone's like, oh, you're good. And someone's like, oh, that's really good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 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 Oh, is it done because this time around i didn't feel anything um at least when they did give me the jab but after that i did feel a lot more uh, fatigue and all those symptoms so yeah if this isn't proof already that it's super easy super uh, convenient and you know we're looking at the light uh finally here and return to normalcy do get your short um wherever possible whenever possible and that is all y'all see you later in another video bye